Even though Jin Yuanhao agreed to sign a settlement agreement with Zen Group, he was not willing, so he always hated Shen Ruoxin for letting himself lose 2 million in compensation. Guilixin edited the video and posted it on the internet, which also made netizens who were concerned about the spontaneous combustion of the car mistakenly believe that Jin Yuanhao was forced to reconcile. Shen Ruoxin wanted to explain clearly that the people who caused troubles had long been blinded by anger and Jin on how refused to come forward to quell the fighting, and even deliberately said something suspicious. As the people's emotions became more and more high, not only did they push down Shin Ruoxin, but even poured coffee on her. At the critical moment, Qi Zhou rushed over to stand in front of Shin Ruoxin, and offended her, taking her away from the crowd. Shin Ruoxin hid in the bathroom and started crying. Qi Zhou was a little worried, so he let Yu Sijia in to help comfort. Shen Ruoxin quickly recovered her calm. She arranged for Qi Zhou to clarify the truth on the internet and investigate the identity and purpose of the rumors by the way. Qi Zhou watched the video several times and felt that someone deliberately targeted Shen Ruoxin. However, the IP address of the poster was not clear, and it was difficult to find out the detailed information in a short time. Shen Ruoxin asked Qi Zhou to keep an eye on the posts posted by the rumors and keep an eye on the other party's next move. Yu Sujia immediately contacted the public relations department and drafted a company response. After the accident, Zim Group was pushed to the forefront again. Ron Yu took the opportunity to file a complaint with Liu Pei, saying that he could have lost money, but he was about to cause a threatening scandal. Liu Pei was worried that this incident would disturb the group headquarters, so he decided to fire Shen Ruoxin to reduce the influence of public opinion. However, Shen Ruoxin worked in the group after graduating from school. It is now seven years. She has an inseparable feeling for Zen Group, so it is difficult to remain indifferent. Considering that Shen Ruoxin paid a lot for the group, Liu Pei was still unbearable and eventually transferred her from the legal department to the administrative department. The company issued a notice of transfer, and all the employees talked a lot. Qi Zhou and Yu Sujia were even more shocked and did not know how to comfort them. Qi Zhou looked at Shen Ruoxin's loss and sadness, and then felt a little at a loss. He simply reported to her that the rumors had posted in a forum to ask questions about how to install monitoring equipment in his wife's mobile phone. Before Qi Zhou could finish speaking, Shen Ruoxin immediately interrupted, saying that he was no longer working in the legal department, and there was no need to report on these matters. Looking at the group photo on the desk, Shen Ruoxin recalled the days when he had worked hard with colleagues, and finally couldn't help crying. That night, just as Shen Ruoxin was about to leave work, he suddenly found Qi Zhou waiting for herself in the office. Originally everyone was going to hold a welcome banquet for Qi Zhou, but he unexpectedly found an excuse to dodge it, and even actively invited Shen Ruoxin to eat supper. Shen Ruoxin readily agreed and personally took him to eat spicy hot pot, one with relish, the other with fear, completely unaccustomed. When Yu Sujia heard that the headquarters did not mention Shen Ruoxin at all, she knew that Liu Yu Pei deliberately pressured Shen Ruoxin, and Qi Zhou made an injustice for Shen Ruoxin and promised to find the rumors to prove innocence. After dinner, Shen Ruoxin bid farewell to Qi Zhou and others, and went home alone. When she passed the underground garage, she suddenly noticed someone following behind her. Shen Ruoxin was so frightened that he hid in the car, only to find that the people behind him were not malicious, but simply stuffed small advertisements into the car windows. Because of this too long, Shen Ruoxin finally breathed a sigh of relief. At the same time, knowing that he was too nervous, he simply contacted his best friend Song Zhe and told her about the recent experience. Qi Zhou takes Yu Sujia to find Su Yang, and the three get together again, just like they were in college. The next day, Yu Sujia met Su Yang in the library and looked at him focusing on reading through the bookshelf. The fawn in his heart bumped again. After many years, the secret love still remains unabated.